back to working on the bookshelves and to give them some height, we're making feet for them. So what are we doing? We're just taking two two by four pieces. We're doing about eight inches for most of the feet and the ones that are going to connect, we're doing 16 inches so that we can have a nice support connecting all of these shelves. We can flip it over and just use the, the side that it came with, the brown black side. We're going to do this for the smaller one and then I'll show you what they look like when they're on. made to be for the foot of it. We don't want it to look like that, so we're going to take and we're going to do the same baseboard that we did down here. We're going to do it all the way around this corner. So I've already cut the inside miter, miter cut. We also added a one by in here since you have a little depth in here that needs to be filled. So the baseboard is going to sit against this, but we need it to be able to nail into something, so we're going to use that there. I'm just putting this in here for the moment to get the proper spacing in here. Well, we measure it. We've already measured it. We did our inside cut and we measured where we're going to cover miter cuts on these two pieces. We're going to chop saw right now, which makes it very easy to cut the miter cuts. You basically have to turn this on a 45 degree angle, either one way or the other, depending on which direction we need to make your cut. And to the miter cut, we want it going this direction. We had to measure exactly where you want the inside of the miter cut to be and cut starting there, based over here. And the baseboard has to sit flat against the mat, and you have to hold it upright to be able to get that, that outside miter cut that we need. Now we have our miter cut that's ready for the other side. We're going to do the same thing to this, except it has to be the other direction. So you just 
Turn this to 45 degree angle. It has the little markings. Make sure you're lined up exactly where you want it to be able to cut. First. Cut into 41. Now our cuts are my cut minor cut for this for the outer corner, and we have to cut our inside piece. First, we want to minor the inside piece the proper direction that we're going to do it. The best way to do this is just to, while you're doing it, mark which direction you want it to go in. And when you go over to the saw, you remember which piece needs to go in which direction. We do the same thing to this side of this piece. We need it to go in the opposite direction of what this end is already cut. So we're going to cut off that end in the proper direction and do the same exact thing we just did. 